I will be installing this roof rack on the Tesla Model 3, however, if you are a Model S or Y owner, you will be pleased to know that you can follow the same instruction. The process is really straightforward, and you will have just about all you need right out the box. To begin with, damp up a microfiber or paper towel and clean the installation area for your roof rack. Then take the stickers, and here you're going to look for the mini arrows located on the top of the glass roof. Follow the sticker layout instructions on the bottom. Align the two arrows together and then repeat this sticker installation for all four mounting points. Take the plastic installation tool and carefully slide it under the black rubber gasket starting from the corner. Use it to peel back the gasket. Now take your metal J-hook and insert it on a 45 degree angle in the space you've just created, lining it up with the arrow. Test to make sure it's engaged in the metal track located under the glass by wiggling it slightly left to right. Repeat the process for all four J-hook mounting points. Next, we're going to install the rubber mounting pads following the diagram layout engraved on the pad. Perform another wiggle check to ensure the J-hook is still engaged and repeat for all four pads. Take your long front bar with the arrows pointing toward the front of the vehicle and carefully guide it into position. Repeat the same process with the back bar. Hand tighten the wing nuts on all four thread tops. If you have one, set your torque wrench between 2.5 and 3.5 newton meters and tighten. Use the key to lock all four towers. Test both crossbars are securely installed by pulling hard in all directions. Install the covers starting with the bottom edge and press firmly in place. To remove, we simply pry up from the top. Once all four covers are installed, you are done. Hopefully that was straightforward enough, but if you ran into any trouble, let me know, and I will happily answer any questions or concerns. Congratulations on your new roof rack! Please let us know how your installation went by dropping a comment down below, and subscribe for more of this type of content.